vlog. It's vlog time. Haven't really been up to much, except for um, getting a whole bunch of free garbage. Not garbage, it's amazing. But uh, now I literally have no room and I have boxes up on boxes up on boxes of uh, shit. <laughs> Giveaway time. Once again, not professional enough to go on the um, Phone Playing HS channel. And speaking of which, I haven't actually uploaded there on uh, in a while, quite a while. Uh, simply because I have been busy. Actually busy, for once. Um, I'm not actually kidding. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I haven't really got much time to record videos, but um, I will try and, you know, this is, boom, boom, I'm recording a video right now. Um, yeah, a Nerf vlog, because I haven't done one of those in a while. Pause the video for about 30 seconds there, because I didn't know if I was going to sneeze. I'm hoping that this uh, is, like, all in sync and stuff because I'm pressing the pause button too many times so if it's not in sync then um that's my editor also a good friend Reese printed me out uh, a nice um, not well not the whole not the whole blaster but uh, swift grip I just need to get the right screws for it because the uh, stock swift screws are too short and you can't actually prime it so this is just for looks right now but it's a Picatinny grip for the swift uh, it is amazing super smooth and allows you to attach any grip you want because uh, I'm not a fan of that, um, that C-clamp, you know, bullshit, you know, I'd rather a vertical grip, or even an angled grip, I just don't like, um, you know, the shotgun style, I'm not really into that. Um, and also, I completed my Retalicon, um, it's called Slime, and I've added a lot of weight uh, in quite a lot of the parts. I've added some C batteries in the stock and some double A's uh, up front, you might even be able to see. Uh, a couple peeking out there, uh, simply just add weight. I like to, you know, hold on to something, uh, you know, nice and girthy while I'm playing. <laughs> while I'm flinging foam and destroying others with my foam darts. Uh, it shoots pretty well. It's uh, actually, like, successful. It catches and stuff. It has a 5 kilo spring and a uh, Worker Black Prophecy kit in there. Uh, I bought from AK Blaster Mods and the kit was, like, 15 bucks and the shipping was 7 bucks, expedited shipping. And arrived in 13 days. 13 days. That is incredible, especially since I ordered on a weekend and Easter was right in the middle. And it's it's international shipping. That's literally like a snail these days. So, you know, for it to arrive quicker than domestic Australia post shipping is uh, quite amazing. I have this one bit of hair that is in the way and it's annoying me. Annoying. A nice look at it. It's a Metallicon, and I've pretty much just reused all, all parts. Like, this this pump kit has been, I swear, on freaking six different blasters. <laughs> the same pump kit. I don't have six pump kits for each of my blaster. That's, um, I would, um, be in the minuses. Do you know what I mean? This thing broke on me. It, it broke on me. It broke. Look, it snapped. It snapped. Look at that. This was actually a useful stock because it had like a, a four shot thing in there and like that that still works. But it doesn't work and it snapped, man. It snapped on the first use. The first use that I did that I thingied on this, it snapped. The first Anyway, uh, that is my box of attachments. That box used to contain a bunch of end strike stuff that I got for free off of my club and um, I insisted on everybody else trying to take some but um, I was the last one there and there were still blasters in the box and uh, I just took it no one else wanted to take it so you know, instead of it going in uh, in the bin um, it decided to go into my room <laughs> so I have even less room in here now but in the box was a uh, I was about to say hammer shot, this is a strong arm and it has an RMW trigger in there and a really heavy spring. Um, so this is going to be my new sidearm. I've taken out the um, dart posts. As you can see, I'm going to clear that out. Maybe brass it. Maybe so I can reload the cylinder. That would be pretty cool. Um, that's like my 60th strong arm and my Nightfinder collection. Nine yellow ones and one blue one, I believe. Um, yeah, if you do have a Nightfinder and you don't want it, send it to me. 
How is Shorty Shotgun been doing, you might ask? And if you didn't ask, well, I don't care. Um, Shorty Shotgun is right up there. And it is not do do not doing too good because uh, it still doesn't really fire. And I still haven't found the right barrel. I still don't have a good spring. I still don't have a good pusher. And I don't really know exactly what to do with it right now because... Uh, my focuses have been not on shorty shotgun, they've been on work and uh, slime right there. Because that blaster actually works, it actually fires, and it's actually good. Unlike that. Um, this is very similar to shorty shotgun, you know, has a pusher mechanism, but it actually works. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And if you are wondering what I'm storing my all my blasters on it's there's one tote somewhere you might be able to see it spot the freaking clear tote it's somewhere down in there uh, the, everything else is just stacked on top of each other oh, for god's sake what's down in here oh yeah in that that tubs all my tactical gear tactical gear also i got my long shot working those are some uh, little blaster tech sites i don't know what these blaster tech sites are meant to go on because they're not meant to go on end strike rails because they're literally loose on every single rail but this because that rail is not completely tight. So that's the only that's the, the that's the only rail that these little orange sites fit on. They don't fit on rival rails, they don't fit on picatinny rails, they don't fit on normal end strike rails, they only fit on this long shot because this long shot is not properly clamped back together, so um but it does work. Uh, I got a new black MW um, bolt sled from I don't even know. Uh, and I put it in there and now it works. I've got the stock spring and a recon spring. Uh, and I'm planning to hopefully get a pump kit soon. So, uh, you know, I actually have another backup blaster to use. So far, I'm using my Swift for basically everything because... Why would I use anything else? Uh, I'm going to use Slime for the next game simply because I'm kind of working on the Swift a little bit. I want to you know, get a 3D printed mag release here. So um, I don't have to reach three miles to get the mag out. And I want to get some M4 long screws for the grip here, so I can actually use the grip. Um, and uh, maybe a metal trigger. Probably not, though. I don't really see the point of a metal trigger. Uh, also, this scope is off of uh, the Kano 8 k that I bought off of my friend. This scope is actually really cool. It doesn't magnify, it doesn't adjust. It actually does magnify, but it doesn't have a reticle in it. And it does not adjust, but it still looks pretty cool and uh, actually magnifies a little bit. Not going to help your aim or anything. Um, and that's just there for the tactics. And someone's messaging me. Cool. Um, also, if someone's messaging me again. <clears throat> also, um, I own uh, an electric scooter now. So if you want to see, um, if you for some reason want to follow my scooter, yeah, I have a, an account for my own freaking mobility scooter. Than the Why did I say mobility scooter? What? That's so weird. Uh, E-scooter. Okay, it's just, just a normal E-scooter. <laughs> That would be cool to have a freaking gopher though, one of those four-wheeled freaking mobility scooter things like Colin Furs. 70 miles. Oh god, I'm not gonna get into that. At Zoomy E-scooter. Boom, if you wanna follow, for some reason. Oh my god. Why did I mention that? Um, simply because, wait, hold on a second. Hey! <laughs> simply because um, I tried to take my um, scooter down to uh, my thrift store where I get almost everything um, for very cheap prices um, and then I was like hmm I'm not sure if um, I'll even get in the door since I've have, I swear I've spent more money on the accessories for the scooter than the actual scooter itself uh, my mirrors I had to fold them down my extender bar you know everything was getting in the way I couldn't even get through the freaking door once I did and the worker was complaining that my scooter was too close to the fire extinguisher. Like, what the fuck? It's an electric scooter, not a freaking nuclear bomb. What the hell is it going to do? <laughs> too close to the fire extinguisher. What, the what? By the way, my thrift store hasn't gone up in flames for... It hasn't gone up in flames ever. Um, and what? Dude, you can still get to the fire extinguisher if you need to. Like, whether it's to put out a fire, whether it's to club someone over the head. You can still get to it. And bitch, I'm going to take 30 seconds and then I'm going to be out of there. I'm going to dip. So I didn't bother. I just went, uh, okay. And I just freaking dipped. I left. Um, waste of a time folding my mirrors down. That took about a minute to do because that's kind of awkward. Um, but I'm going to be going down tomorrow probably because I'm going to be getting some shopping. So I'm um, going to go down there with uh, a car. Yeah. 
and my legs. Yeah, no scooter, because apparently that's a nuclear bomb. Anyway, uh, enough ranting about the pathetic rules of my thrift store. I'm going to uh, leave you at that. And if there is anything else that you somehow want to see in Nerf vlogs, uh, please comment down below if the comments are turned on. They should be. Um, if YouTube can turns the comments off, I don't know. Do uh, where? Trying to get to 500 subs on this channel, simply so I can. What the hell happened to my lighting there? Simply so I can unlock a uh, community post because uh, that'll be cool. Anyway, I can subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. I almost tripped and fell and died.